Let's go. Hard. Childish, you say? Absolutely, Absolutely not. Furthermore, uh -uh. there's nothing childish about the bag you can come up on from the trading card hustle. So there's been some mad hype going around about the whole trading card scene. Oh Here yeah, for sure. Oh yeah. That they're gonna come back. There's three reasons. Forty-five year olds now have seven year olds. Game true, 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 true. Sports cards have a lot more volume than sneakers. The man even states that the top five percent of the nicest cards have historically outperformed the S and P five hundred. Card market has outperformed the S and P five hundred on the top five percent premium stuff. So trading cards really do seem to be making a comeback. Logan. Paul he said a top 5% premium stuff. So the problem with that is as a side hustle, if you just want to start it for like $50, that doesn't align with what Gary V said. The top of premium stuff, he's talking LeBron rookies. He's talking Luca uh, 2018 Prism rookie PSA 10. Gary V is talking about Michael Jordan, Fleer 1986. He ain't talking about no uh, Zion or something. All doing all the Pokemon card videos. Gotta listen. This is the one. All these card channels. Yeah, that's a lit. That's a lit. More views on the recommended section on mm -hmm. YouTube. People flexing valuable cards on the gram. It's everywhere. So in this video, we're gonna try to dive in and explore the hustle side of the scene. There's actually a whole lot of different ways that people make money with trading cards, but one of the simplest and easiest to get into is to resell unopened packs that you buy at retail stores. I did a little bit of research as to what kind of card packs actually sell talk to some people about it and something actionable that i learned and that we can implement and try out right away is reselling unopened football okay. and basketball cards okay. that you can buy in walmart or target okay. or in a number of this is a good way to do it the only reason i saw is man there's so many people doing this there's so many people who are doing this it's so difficult all your walmart's targets go there their card aisle is going to be dead it's going to be like desert island of different stores i'm this telling the truth on that we're gonna look for is called panini but once we get to walmart here we'll be able to look at the selection there and then cross-reference that with sold and completed listings on ebay to see what different packs go for online and hopefully we can find some sort of arbitrage opportunity after arriving to the first walmart i was greeted with some very empty shelves Ooh, so told you. i couldn't find a single pack of football or basketball you can't cards, do it which i figured if that's the case mm -mm -mm. then there definitely has to be money to be made here they said so no 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 this defeat left walmart put on a full tuxedo and went to target <laughs> and what do you know same exact thing there sold Man. out shelves so i ended up going to like five or six other stores in my area and everything was sold out Told so the you. fact that all of the football and nba oh, cards were sold out in every target on walmart i visited Dang. is a bit discouraging but also definitely says something about the trading card space yeah now after Amen that one that. day that i went around to all Very those true. stores i did come home empty-handed however throughout the next week whenever i'd find myself in a target or walmart i checked the card section and eventually what do you know i found one pack of panini Ooh. football cards just straight chilling relaxing okay there on okay Bia. while i was on my way home from the dentist okay and then also found a box of nba cards during a random evening trip to a different target so the one pack of football cards i paid one dollar and 99 cents for i looked up sold listings on ebay and just one pack of these goes up to around eight ten dollars shipped on there and okay. then the box of nba cards i got for 7.99 and i just checked ebay and it's going for like 20 25 dollars and all these sales are very recent so this thing is actually selling the, the problem is the free shipping you paying four dollar five dollar for shipping just alone on ebay so you get that that cuts into your profits i just want to you know make sure but yeah this is legit it's totally 100 percent legit if there was like 10 on the shelf and you can make 15 dollars of each it would kind of make sense to buy them and before we get yeah, into yeah, the yeah. next only problem there if if is a very excellent word to use right <laughs> what if i just found 20 boxes of panini prisms in there huh. but the problem is i don't <laughs> if is a virtual reality is no like you're not gonna find 15 boxes of that right? because uh, unless you're the first person there and, and you're an expert there's gonna be one or two people who take up all the boxes all of them do it. i'm telling you telling you you're not gonna be able to find a lot of boxes Thanks most of the time you. Oh, okay. What? Me with cards. This, uh, pack uh, okay. this box that I found here is probably like bottom of the barrel type stuff. If you end up running into a shelf that's been freshly restocked, you could probably nah, find nah, much nah, nah, nah. Flips. This was just the yeah, only stuff nah. that left. That's a conspiracy theory right there. Oh, you just gonna magically? It's gonna be there? No, no, no. You gotta talk to the vendors. You gotta talk to the Target or Walmart store managers, the front aisle managers, and you and you just gotta basically go there every day, basically every every day. Who, who do you talk to? Who do we talk to? Hopes of striking you rich. I was told to buy Panini mosaic basketball huh? cards, which I did. I bought a whole box of them.
Okay. I didn't act like I didn't. I didn't just hear this before, but bro, I don't know who's telling him to buy this stuff. But okay, okay. <laughs> he didn't pay four eighty. He paid not a ten dollars shipping plus tax, which is well above five hundred dollars. Bro, I don't know. This is whoever told you to buy that. I don't even know though. I got no comment. I got no comment them on ebay really paid like over 500 dollars for these so i just secured what i believe to be the package here so we're gonna go ahead drive to the stew and crack into these hopefully come up on something major but there's actually even some buy and hold strategy to this like if you think a player in the nba is really gonna start popping off you could buy a bunch of their cards sit on them for a while and if you're right they could rise in price so that's also they could kind of cool. i know people will even sit that's such a Yes, it is a buy and hold strategy is definitely real, but it's such a like, it's such a complicated strategy. It's such a complicated way of thinking because you have to basically just like a stock market predict what's going to happen. Like there's so many economic implications. I mean, I'm talking what's going to happen with the whole Rony Rona. I mean, what's going to happen with the whole sports card market in general? Um, I don't know. It's so many different complications. Yes, be aware. Open packs of cards that they believe will go up in value, but I'm not that fancy. We're just gonna crack into these and see if we can pull some bangers. That so music I have is this fire. $500 box, and then also the packs I bought for retail. Mm -hmm. Loki mad hyped right now. This is the feeling I'd get from like CS:GO cases or drawing three free stocks right, if right. you sign up for Weeble using okay. the link below. Anyways, that's all right. All right. All right. All the cards here. I have the plastic sleeves for when we pull the million dollar cards. We got to make sure we keep them in million good dollar card. I have the knife that we're gonna use to crack into the boxes. So let's get into it. And I don't really know much about basketball. If I see a shiny LeBron card, I'll know it's worth something. But for most of these, right. there might be a delayed reaction because I'm gonna have to look them up first on ebay to see what they're worth but i'm actually serious about the shiny thing uh, what i've heard is if the cards are shiny or look different then they're usually more valuable than the other ones so without further ado let's get into this Ooh. Ooh. so we got a lebron lebron james this okay good job. this, this good one job. has to be worth something lebron james yes sir doing what i normally do and that's uh <laughs> Ballin' like curry. This guy. The editing is fire. Yo. Yo, that's nuts. Shout out Big Doss TV. They really gave him his own YouTuber card in here. Nice. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. So here are Ugh, the highlights. I like of the that. Box I break. like that. Ended up getting a few LeBron cards. The most valuable being this pink prism, which is worth about $40 okay. to $50. Okay, then I we have okay, two okay. Zion Williamson cards. Mm -hmm. And this guy was on the front of the packaging. So I knew they must be worth something. And sure enough. Bro. Via has it, my guy. You, you my guy, but don't call Zion a guy. Zion is one of the most marketable players in the NBA. He so, he's, has so much hype. That's why he's on the front cover. All right. The hey, NBA debut hey. runs for about twenty dollars, and this one Pretty around good. thirty. This thirty dollar one Pretty is fair. actually Pretty his fair. true rookie card, so it might be a good buy and hold type of deal in case he really blows up in the future. So I'm actually pretty hyped on getting this one. Then we have a Tyler Hero rookie prism card worth about twenty. Tyler bucks. Hero, it heck might yeah, also be a good hold. Yeah, 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 yeah. Steph Curry's this one being the most expensive one, sitting around twenty five dollars, and there was definitely a sure. number of other cards that were worth something there, but these were just the main highlights. Now there wasn't really anything in the NBA box I got from Target. Get. However, the one pack of football cards I got for one ninety nine ended up mm -hmm. having this mm -hmm. Justin Herbert rated. Wow, card, wow, wow! And it's selling that's for fire. twenty dollars on eBay. So first of all, this was a pretty good time. That's I fire! Can see that's, I don't say that's this, fire. But from a money making perspective, again, a straightforward way to secure a bag is yeah. to resell unopened boxes and packs you buy for retail prices. And if you want to try and make money opening the packs, that's really a gamble, especially if you buy a pack off eBay like I did with the mosaic cards with the whole box. It's gonna be really hard to turn a profit opening one of those given that you have to pay quite a bit over the retail yeah, price that's the true, cards that's that true. i pulled from this box that i think would actually sell are worth a total of around 150 to 200 at the moment
moment so definitely a loss there but with a football pack that i bought for retail that's a good Target, profit I paid 199 and pulled this 20 dollars card from it so i actually made a profit opening the pack so it is possible now i don't think this is something a lot of people could make a full-time living off but as a little side hustle definitely could be a move especially right now that the scene is hot you can hop in and make some cheese and i feel like anytime i'll be at a target or walmart from now <laughs> on cheese. i won't leave without checking the card section and if there's Jeez. something there get a few packs crack into them it's almost like you get to buy lottery scratchers without feeling like a degenerate gambling addict so yeah. i'm all for it so i hope yeah, you guys yeah. enjoyed watching this video as much as i enjoyed making it okay In the future, I'm okay thinking maybe i should do like a mega box break spend a couple bands Ooh. on some of these card packs Ooh. if i end up doing that okay. let me know what kind of card packs mm -hmm. i should buy but for now i hope that you guys have an amazing rest of your okay. day peace okay 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 you know what i like that video you know what be a hassle. that's some good stuff yes you know it was very you know it's very good for introduction people people brand new to the sports car market yeah this video might work and if you're solely trying to make money those strat you know it's not it's probably not going to work in general but it definitely won't work using doing those things <laughs> <laughs> if you're just trying to go to target walmart all, all the time promise you you, you got to learn so much you, there, that's like a whole little expertise you got to figure out you know what i mean and the whole like sealed wax that's what they call it that's a good way for an investment the most common and proper investment is the buy and a hold or the flipping strategy with singles right uh, usually the raw cards, but the, I'm surprised he didn't go over graded cards at all. But maybe he'll do that in the future. Buying, opening up packs and trying to sell them for money, it don't work like that. But, so the reason why I want to watch his is because he's a very popular dude. And he's like, I don't know, sort of in the finance genre of YouTube, kind of. So, if the, all these finance YouTubers get in the sports card game, we got a, a lot of rich and the wealthy people trying to get in the sports card world, which will, which could help inflate the market more, which is what people want ultimately. But that would help um, stabilize. It could stabilize the market. It could bring a nice amount of market capitalization in the market. That's good for the sports card market long term. If people like Bia Hesa and Graham Stephan, Meet Kevin, all of them get in the, the card game, right? As we've seen with Pokemon cards. Hey, man. I'm going to react to some more of these if you guys want me to. Hey, Bia Hesa, if you... I know he's not listening. If you want to open up packs, yeah, probably Prism. Probably Mosaic. Yes, Optic, Basketball, stuff like that. Anyway, it's been your boy Brandon Chung. Okay, okay, okay. Coming back at you later. <laughs>